Hello, peace everybody. Welcome back to another class. I'm Ben and this is Reeves that I have here with me. So Reeves is another friend and teacher um, here in Charlotte, North Carolina. And Reeves is a great instructor. I always really uh, enjoy and admire your creativity and just your dedication to the practice as a student as well. So Reeves will be kind of joining the channel and leading some classes that you'll see pop up every so often. And we just want to give Reeves a warm, warm welcome. So maybe leave Reeves a great comment in the, in the comment section, just saying uh, welcome to the channel. And I hope you all enjoy this practice and the ones that follow. So anyways, I'll let you take it away and hope you'll have a great class. Hi everybody, my name is Reeves. I'm excited to be here with y'all. As soon as you're ready, come to your mat and we'll start in a child's pose. So bring your sits bones towards your heels. Knees can be wide or together. Reach your fingertips towards the top edge of your mat and then you can just rest your forehead onto the ground. And just surrender into whatever is on the mat with you today. Take a deep breath into the diaphragm. And a deep breath out. Another deep breath in. Rib cage may press against your thighs just a little bit. And exhale, release. Inhale. Exhale to ground through the heart. And take a breath in. Shift your body into tabletop. So bring your hands underneath your shoulders and your knees underneath your hips. Think about drawing your navel towards your back. Tops of your feet are gonna be flat on the ground. As you inhale, Find a cow pose. Drop your navel towards the ground, lift your chin, lift your tailbone. And then as you exhale, opposite action. Draw your navel up towards your back, back to ceiling, look back towards your thighs. Inhale for cow. Exhale for cat, slow to start. Breathe in for cow. Exhale for cat. And then from here, just find these motions on your own. So you can stay with a linear cat cow or you can shift your hips around, jump rope your spine, maybe circle through the neck. Feel free to flip your hands back and forth and rock forward and backwards over your wrists. Just exploring any kind of movement that your body might be asking you for as you step into your practice. Trusting the breath, trusting your body. Feel free to become creative and expressive. As soon as you're ready, we'll land in a tabletop shape. from tabletop. Extend your right leg long behind you, toes point down towards the ground. Navel to spine, and then on an inhale, extend your left arm long in front of you. Left bicep frames your left ear. Keep breathing. Inhale. Exhale, elbow to knee. Re-extend, breathe in, get really long. Think about reaching fingertips away from heel. And then as you exhale, elbow to knee through a cat spine. Breathe and extend. Last one, exhale, elbow to knee. Extend one last time. Keep your foot in the air. Drop your left hand to the ground. On an inhale, open up for a supported side plank. Peel your right arm open. Try to keep your right heel in the air. Totally fine to drop that right foot as well. Navel to spine, full breath in, gaze goes up towards that right hand. On an exhale, twisted puppy. Right knee comes to the ground, thread the needle, right arm underneath your body, right shoulder, right cheek to the mat. And extend your left arm long overhead.
Tailbone stays lifted off of your heels. And stay for a couple breaths. Next breath in. Peel back open. Bring your left hand next to your face, press into it. Right arm goes into the air. Exhale, right hand comes down. Breathe in for cow. Exhale, find cat. Inhale for cow. Exhale, cat spine. Neutral tabletop, take a breath in. Stay for your exhale. Inhale, left leg long behind you. Breathe out. Inhale, right arm long in front of you. Navel to spine. Think about rib cage to back. Put a little bit of pressure underneath that left hand. Breathe in. Exhale, elbow to knee, cat spine. Breathe in, extend. Exhale, contract. Breathe in, extend to expand. Exhale, contract. Breathe in, extend. Get long. Hold here. Left foot stays in the ground, in the air. Right hand comes to the ground. Swivel on your right knee. Open up. Supported side plank. Left arm floats high. Left heel kicks towards the back of your space. Maybe you drop it to the ground. Navel to spine. Gaze is up towards your left hand. Breathe in. Twisted puppy as you exhale. Bring your left knee next to your right. Thread the needle. And stay for a few breaths. Breathe into the length of the right side of your body. And breathe into the back of the heart space. Returning to whatever it is that you noticed at the beginning of your practice that might be on the mat with you today. Inhale, peel back open. Push into your right hand, left arm goes into the air. Exhale, left hand down. Neutral tabletop. From here, tuck your toes. Downward facing dog. Lift your hips into the air. Spread really wide through your fingertips. Start to pedal through your feet. Find some movement. Just noticing what's going on in the back of your hamstrings. And how does your breath change as you change the shape of your body? Think about length in the spine. Take a breath in, rise up onto your tiptoes. And then as you exhale, bring your heels down to the ground. Inhale, tiptoes. Exhale, heels draw down. They do not have to touch the earth. It's just an energetic shift. Inhale, tiptoes. And this time as you exhale, start to walk forward. Take it slow, forward fold, top of the mat. That's where we're headed. Bring your feet underneath your hips and then bring a really deep bend into your knees. Allow the crown of your head to fall towards the ground. Soften your neck and shoulders. Think about space between each vertebra of the cervical spine. So this space behind your neck. And we're just breathing. Noticing sensation, honoring our experience, whatever that might be. Inhale, find a halfway lift with your chest. Bring your hands to your shins and draw your shoulder blades together just a little bit. As you exhale, fold back down. Halfway lift, breathe in. Exhale, fold. One more half lift. Inhale all the way to the top of that breath. Exhale, fold back down all the way to the bottom of the exhale from here. 
Bend your knees, press into your feet. Really slowly start to rise up. Really, really slowly, like a bellflower. And then as you inhale, bring your arms into the air above your head. Eventually your head lands on top of your shoulders, arms in the air, shoulder blades travel upward. Find a long tailbone, keep a circular motion of breathing. As you exhale next, Tadasana Mountain Pose. Bring your hands by your sides, palms face forward. Soften your shoulders, maybe you close your eyes. And in this space, how are you holding yourself up? Find some pride across your collar bones, across the sides of your shoulders, lightness through the heart space. And then how can your movement align with your intentions? And if you haven't thought about an intention, maybe you do so right here. Breathe in, Urdhva Hastasana, arms go into the air. Exhale, Uttanasana, forward fold. Halfway lift, breathe in. Exhale, plant your palms. Step your feet to the back of your mat. Find a high plank pose. Hold your high plank. Think about heels pressing back, space between your shoulder blades, hips in line with shoulders. Deep breath in. And a breath out. As you inhale, press into the balls of your feet, travel forward over your wrists about an inch. Exhale, chaturanga, lower down to the ground halfway. Elbows are tucked tight against your ribs. Upward facing dog, take a breath in, roll over your toes. Exhale, downward facing dog, use your core to lift your hips. And take a breath. <sighs> Breathe in, rise up onto your tiptoes. Exhale, forward fold, top of the mat. Halfway lift, breathe in. Exhale, fold, take your time. Allow the breath to be the guide. Inhale, Urdhva Hastasana, roll to rise, arms up. Forward fold, breathe out. Halfway lift, breathe in. Exhale, plant your palms, high plank pose. Inhale, shift forward. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, urdhva mukha svanasana. Exhale, adho mukha svanasana. Downward facing dog. From here, send your right leg into the air. Find a three-legged dog. Think about lifting your right leg, using your right glute, soft bend in your left knee. And then as you exhale, pull your right knee in towards your chest, find a cat spine. Re-extend, breathe in, three-legged. Exhale, knee to heart, this time step through, low lunge. Invitation to bring blocks into your space underneath your hands. A water bottle or a couple of water bottles will, will work perfectly fine. So think about pressing your back knee back. You're gonna feel your quad flex. Turn your core on. See if you can bring a little bit of lightness underneath your hands. Inhale, peel your right arm open, easy twist. Gaze goes up towards your right hand. Again, lightness underneath this left hand, so we're not dumping into this left um, wrist joint. On an exhale, revolved Anjane Asana. Keep your right hand in the air. Drop your left knee. Push into your right foot. Lift your shoulders over your hips. Take a deep breath in. And breathe out. Rotating through the rib cage, hips stay square to the front of your space. Anjane Asana, breathe in. Biceps frame your face, square your heart forward. And then as you hold yourself here, what do you notice? Breathe in. Half split as you exhale, bring your hands to blocks or the ground. 
framing your right foot. Flex your right toes towards your face. Right hip pulls back just a little bit. So this right heel is going to energetically move back against the ground on an exhale. Bend your elbows. Maybe you bring your forearms to your blocks. Draw your chest a little closer towards your right thigh. Any amount of a bend in this right knee is totally acceptable. Find a halfway lift, breathe in. Exhale, release back down. Half lift, breathe in. Exhale, fold. One more half lift, inhale. Lengthen through the spine and then as you exhale, We'll travel forward, supported warrior three. Walk your hands or your blocks underneath your shoulders. Lift your back leg, so your left leg. Kick through your left heel. Hands on the ground or on blocks. And then you might change the height of the blocks like I just did to bring a little bit more space or a little bit less, depending on what you want, underneath or I guess between your heart and the ground. Think about length in the spine. So reaching through the crown of the head away from your tailbone, try to send your rib cage to your back. Breathe in. On an exhale, cross your left ankle behind your right, and then fold your heart towards your right thigh. Adjust your feet how you need to. So if this left hamstring starts to talk a lot, maybe you move your foot back. Maybe you bend your knees, hands to the ground or to the blocks. And just release your head. Good opportunity to realign with your intentions as you fold here into your own body. Find a halfway lift, breathe in. As you exhale, fold back down, and this time walk your hands over towards the right side of your space. You don't have to go all the way to the right. Draw your chest towards this right thigh. So we are folding and we are twisting. Inhale, lift back up, walk back towards center. Exhale, forward fold. Pick up your left foot, step it back down next to your right. Halfway lift, Ardha Uttanasana, breathe in. Exhale, fold. Hmm. Urdhva Hastasana, roll to rise. Arms come up. Forward fold, breathe out. Halfway lift, breathe in. Exhale, plant your palms. High plank pose. Hold here, breathe in. Knees to the ground, child's pose. Breathe out. Walk your hands over to the top right corner of your mat. Stack your left hand on top of your right hand. Bring some space and some length across that left lung. Breathe in. Breathe out. Left hip settles a little bit closer towards that left heel. Inhale, start to walk your hands over to the left. Stack your right hand on top of your left hand. Do the exact same thing for the other side. This might not feel the same on one side as it does on the other, and that's totally fine. Breathe into the top of your right lung. And breathe out. Really, really empty. Walk your hands back through center. Just take a few breaths. And think about how you want to move forward. And then let's move forward. Tabletop, breathe in. Tuck your toes, downward facing dog. Left side, left leg, three legged, breathe in. Soft bend in your right knee, continue to press your heart towards that right thigh. As you exhale, cat spine, pull your left knee forward, hold here, 
Draw your left knee towards your chin. Use your core. Breathe in, re-extend. Exhale, same thing. Cat spine to step through for a low lunge. Realign your feet how you need to. Reach for blocks or whatever kind of support you have in your space. And then give yourself a breath. Firm up through your center to find um, lightness underneath your hands. So if you lifted your hands, nothing about your body would change. So we're not dumping too much weight towards the ground. On an inhale, peel open, easy twist. Gaze goes up towards your left hand. Bring the twist into your cervical spine. Twisting through the rib cage, navel to spine. Take a breath in. Revolved Anjane Asana as you breathe out. So keep your left hand in the air. Right knee comes to the ground. Lift your shoulders. Right arm reaches forward in space on the same plane as your left arm. Expand across your chest. See if you can soften your left shoulder blade a little bit. That might mean making a twist a little bit um, a little bit more shallow. Anjane Asana, breath in, biceps frame your face, palms face each other, fingertips reach up. Navel to spine, bring some length into the side body. And then how do you hold yourself here? Take a breath in and a breath out. Deep breath in, half split as you exhale, hands to the ground or to blocks. Lengthen this left leg, Ardha Hanumanasana. Flex your left toes towards your face and then draw this left hip towards the back of your space. Shoulder blades draw together a little bit. Collarbones spread across your shoulders slightly. Breathe in. Exhale, fold your heart towards that left thigh. Maybe you deepen the bend in your left knee if that hamstring starts to talk. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold back down. Half lift, breathe in. Exhale, fold. One more half lift, inhale. Supported warrior three as you exhale. Travel forward, carry your blocks. Maybe you lose your blocks. Hands or blocks underneath your shoulders at the top of your mat. You might be off of your mat at this point like I am, which is totally fine. Kick through that right heel. Right hip shines down, so bend your left knee a little bit. Breathe in. Exhale, cross your right ankle behind your left and then fold forward, chest reaches towards that left thigh. And then same thing, adjust your foundation to make this a little bit more comfortable so you feel the stretch and the tension where you want to feel it. Hmm. So it's not always about landing in the perfect place. We can shift and move, we're never stuck. Sometimes it's just putting our feet down, assessing, and then readjusting, halfway lift, breathe in. As you exhale, start to walk your hands over to the left side of your space. Draw your chest towards that left thigh. Lift up, breathe in. Walk your hands back towards the center, forward fold on an exhale. Pick up your right foot, step it down next to your left. Halfway lift, breathe in. Exhale, fold. Roll to rise, Urdhva Hastasana. Arms up, breathe in. Forward fold, breathe out. Halfway lift, breathe in. Exhale, plant your palms, step your feet towards the back of your mat. Hold here, plank pose. Inhale, travel forward over your wrists. Exhale, chaturanga. 
Inhale, Urdhva Mukha Svanasana. Adho Mukha Svanasana. Exhale. And what do you notice? Check in with the body. Check in with your intentions. Have they shifted? Does what worked before still work now? Right leg, three-legged, breathe in. Exhale, we'll start or we'll move towards something new, low lunge. Right foot steps in between your hands. From here, start to inch your right foot towards the center line of your mat. So it's right in between your hands. Maybe you have your blocks. Spin your left heel down. So we have heel to arch alignment. And then on an inhale, rise up, warrior two. Left arm reaches behind you. Right arm reaches in front of you. Hips are open. See if you can squeeze that right glute to stabilize this right knee. Soften your shoulders, embrace the expansion of the shape. And can you push into that left foot a little bit? Take a deep breath. And breathe out. Flip your right palm, reverse warrior. Keep everything from your hips down the same. Keep the bend in that right knee. Soften your right shoulder just a little bit. Gaze is up. Keep breathing. Next breath out, extended side angle. Bring your right forearm towards your, or on your right thigh. Right palm faces up and then extend your left arm towards the front of your space. Think about rotating your rib cage, open towards the ceiling, soften left shoulder. Push into that left foot. On an inhale, easy twist. Left hand comes back towards the ground or to the block. Left heel spins up. Peel your right arm into the air. And then again, lifting out of that bottom hand, press your left knee back. Take a breath in. Wide-legged forward fold as you exhale. So start to cross your right arm underneath your left. Pivot your right toes. Spin your left heel down. You can take this left, this block with you like I just did, or you can ditch it. Both hands come to the ground. Chest draws towards this chi chase space in between your feet. Crown of your head reaches down. Invitation to deepen the bend in your knees. And then extend each leg, alternating sides, just to find a little bit of movement in the shape. Find a halfway lift with your chest. Hands on the ground or on blocks. Take a breath in here. And then as you exhale, find a cat spine. Keep your wide-legged forward fold legs. Inhale for cow. Exhale for cat. Inhale, cow. Exhale, fold back down. Halfway lift, breathe in. And then let's walk to the front of the mat, low lunge. Bring your blocks with you, or just walk your hands, left heel spins up. Right toes, both toes, point towards the front of your space. Next inhale, pyramid pose. Step your left foot up about two to three inches. Left foot points toward this top right corner of your mat. Draw your chest towards your right thigh. Again, any amount of a bend in that right knee. Think about grounding into your left heel. And just soften into the shape. So what parts of the shape are inviting softness? What parts of the shape are 
resisting softness. Find a halfway lift, breathe in. Forward fold, top of the mat, breathe out. Crawl your hands forward, step your left foot up. Half lift, half lift, breathe in. Exhale, fold. Urdhva Hastasana, roll to right, arms up. Forward fold, breathe out. Half lift, breathe in. Exhale, plant your palms, step your feet back, high plank pose. Inhale, shift forward over your wrists. Exhale, Chaturanga. Inhale, Urdhva Mukha. Exhale, Adha Mukha Svanasana. Take a breath, take a beat. Where do we go from here? So just embracing everything that is happening, maybe in your space, in your mind, in your sphere, left leg, three-legged, breathe in. Exhale, low lunge. So left foot is in between your hands. From here, start to inch this foot towards the center of your mat. And then spin your right heel down. So we're set up for warrior two. On an inhale, rise up, warrior two. Push into that left foot. Left arm reaches in front of you. Right arm reaches behind you. Arms are on the same plane in space. Left knee bends over your left ankle, somewhere over your left ankle. Doesn't have to be completely on top of it. And soften your shoulders. Maybe you flip your palms up. Keep breathing. Lift your left arm in space, reverse warrior. Keep everything from your hips down the same. Keep the bend in your left knee, press into your right foot. Is it possible to push so much so into this right foot that you feel this right inner thigh fire up? And then as you exhale, extended side angle. Left forearm to left thigh, right arm reaches long overhead, right palm faces the ground, left palm faces up. So even though we have this support with our left hand, this hand is still intentional and we're not dumping into this shoulder. So if you can, use your core to lift up and off of that left thigh. Last breath, breathe in. Exhale, rotate heart a little bit closer towards the ceiling. Easy twist, inhale. Right hand comes to the ground. Peel left arm up. Stay for your breath out. Breathe in, lift out of this bottom hand. Exhale, wide-legged forward fold. Cross your left hand underneath your right arm. Spin your right heel down, pivot your left toes. Fold into the space between your feet. Allow the crown of your head to fall towards the ground, does not have to touch it. Maybe you adjust your feet. Maybe you bend your knees. Invitation to find the rock in this way. We'll skip the cat cow. Halfway lift, breathe in. Low lunge back to the front of the space. Panther crawl. Right heel spins up, both hands frame your left foot. On an inhale, pyramid pose. Step your right foot up, right point, right point, right foot points towards this top right corner of your mat, and then ground into that right heel. So we are using our mind to try to locate our hips in space, shifting your hips a little bit to the right, pulling that left hip back, and then draw your chest towards your left thigh. Drop your head. And here we are in this point in time and place for now. So can you just be here for now? 
Halfway lift, breathe in. Fold down towards this thigh, left thigh, exhale. Halfway lift, breathe in. Forward fold, top of the space, exhale. Right foot steps up. Halfway lift, breathe in. Exhale, fold. Urdhva Hastasana, breathe in, arms up. Forward fold, breathe out. Halfway lift, breathe in. Exhale, plant your palms, high plank pose. Stay for your inhale, knees to the ground, child pose. You spend a few breaths grounding your energy. Invitation to bend your elbows, bring your hands to a prayer behind your neck, palms together for a stretch through your triceps. Another invitation, hands on the ground, tent up onto your fingertips as if you have like a tennis ball or something round underneath your palms. And that might bring you a little bit more space underneath your armpits and a nice stretch through the sides of your body. And we'll move forward. Tabletop, take a breath in. Tuck your toes, inhale, downward facing dog, breathe out, right leg, three legged, breathe in, as you exhale, pull your knee forward, cat spine, step through, low lunge, widen your feet, east and west, about mm, four to five inches, Shoulder blades draw together, firm up through your core. And then once you have this nice firm foundation, push into your right foot, high lunge. Shoulders come over your hips, arms in the air. Come up really high onto the ball of your back foot and take a breath in. And then breathe out. Breathe in. Exhale, revolve the shape. Bring your hands to heart center. Left hand hooks outside of your right knee, revolved high lunge. So we're rotating through the rib cage, maybe using your left hand or your left elbow and your left hand for some leverage to twist deeper. Is it possible to press your left knee back? Keep this left hip shining towards the ground. Gaze goes up towards the ceiling. And we're breathing. Inhale, reverse triangle, separate your hands. Left arm reaches forward in space as your left heel spins down. And then right arm reaches up as you lengthen your right leg. So left toes are facing the left side of your space. Right toes facing the front side of your space. Both legs are long. Take a breath in. Low lunge as you exhale, bring your hands to the ground. Bend your knee, inch your right foot back towards this right long edge of your mat so that you have comfortable low lunge feet. Breathe in and breathe out. Inhale, easy twist. As you exhale, revolved half moon. Step your left hand up to the ground, maybe to a block and then lift your left leg into the air behind you. So right leg is standing, left leg kicks behind you, right arm is open, heart is open. See if you can lift off of this left hand just a little bit. Core is strong, deep breath in. Deep breath out. Embracing the difficulty of the shape. And just committing to the present moment, whatever is here. Next exhale, 
High lunge twist. Step your left foot to the back of your mat. Rise up into your twist. High lunge, breathe in. Square the shape towards the front of your space. Forward fold, breathe out. Halfway lift, breathe in. Exhale, fold. Urdhva Hastasana, roll to rise. Arms up. Forward fold, breathe out. Halfway lift, breathe in. Exhale, plant your palms, high plank pose. Stay for a breath in, conserving energy, skipping the vinyasa, downward facing dog. Take a breath. And we'll move right into the left side. Left leg, three-legged, breathe in. Exhale, cat spine, knee comes forward, low lunge. Align your feet a little bit further apart, east and west. Find your firm foundation and then rise up. High lunge, push into that left foot. Left glute is gonna help you as you rise. Soften your shoulders. And then notice the strength that this shape calls for. Take a deep breath in. Stay for your breath out. Inhale. Exhale, revolved high lunge. Hands to heart center. Hook this right elbow outside of your left knee. Use your hands and your right elbow for leverage to twist a little deeper. Continue to press your right knee back. Breathe in, there's some balancing here. So you might wiggle over that left foot, that's totally fine. Maybe you bring your gaze back to the ground to keep yourself stable. So use what you have. And in this moment, the floor is a tool. Inhale, reverse triangle. Right heel spins down, separate your arms. Left arm reaches up, left leg gets very long. So here, it might feel natural to bump your hips towards the back of your space. Instead, shift your hips towards the front so you get the length in the front of this left hip. And then if it feels like you are reaching, reaching, reaching for the ceiling, can you bring a little bit of space between your left shoulder? So that might mean bending your left elbow. Take a breath in. Low lunge, exhale. And wheel your arms down, right heel spins up. Breathe in. Exhale to reset. Easy twist, breathe in. Left arm peels open. Weight comes out of this right hand. As you exhale, revolved high lunge, revolved half moon. Walk your right hand forward to the block, to a block or to the ground. Lift your right leg up in space. So we have a warrior three leg. Left leg is standing, left arm in the air. So we are twisted and we are balancing. And we are also trying to find ease and it's very hard to do. Take a breath. Notice your strength, realize it. Next exhale, high lunge twist. Right foot steps to the back of your mat. Lift your shoulders over your hips. Rise into the twist. High lunge, breathe in. Forward fold, breathe out, release. Halfway lift, inhale. Exhale, fold. Urdhva Hastasana, roll to rise. Exhale, forward fold, Uttanasana. Ardha Uttanasana, breathe in. Exhale, plant your palms, step your feet back, high plank pose. Drop your knees, child's pose. So here we are again. And every time we return, what do we return to? 
So that answer is gonna be different for everyone and different on every day. So there's no one answer. And the answer doesn't have to be clear. Sometimes it takes time to get to the truth of things. It's totally fine. Good things take time. Deep breath in. Deep breath out. Breathe in for tabletop. Downward facing dog. Breathe out. Right leg, three-legged, breathe in. As you exhale, pull this right knee forward. Find a half pigeon. Bring your right knee to the ground behind your right wrist. Left thigh and left shin come to the earth too. Maybe you bring a block underneath your right glute for a little bit more space. For now, keep your fingertips on the ground. Find nice long arms. Space across your chest, gazes forward. Take a breath in. Now bring your forearms to the ground if you would like. Fold over that right thigh. Reminder here that your right shin does not have to be totally parallel to this top edge of your mat. It definitely can, but if that's not comfortable, bring your right glute or your right heel towards your left groin. Left hip wraps forward. And we find stillness in the shape. Mm, energy levels start to settle just a little bit. You might notice your heartbeat mm, resting gently underneath the sound of your breathing. And return to that element of surrender. And kind of just embracing whatever it is you brought onto your mat or maybe something that was shown to you as you moved through your practice. Begin to lift your chest. Walk your hands towards this right knee. If you have a block underneath your right glute, go ahead and remove it. Come on to that right glute. You might use your hands, lift your left leg, bring both of your legs in front of you. Flex your feet towards your face. Rest your hands gently on your thighs. Ground into your sits bones. You might wiggle around a little bit to get a little bit more comfortable. Take a breath in. Lift your arms above your head. As you exhale, fold forward. Find the resistance in your legs, in the backs of your legs. When you find that, then release your hands down. So try to keep a long spine. So maybe we do that again. Breathe in, arms up. Exhale, long spine. Keep it long. Fold, hinge forward. Hands come to your shins. Notice where that resistance in the backs of your legs is. And then if you would like, you can fold a little bit further forward. Now you can round your spine. Maybe you keep a bend in your knees. So a lot of the time, we wanna fold as deeply as we can. We wanna reach as far as we can. But can we honor the limitations that our body asks us to honor. So knowing when to stop and knowing when it's okay to challenge ourselves. And checking in to notice how that decision can be aligned with our intention or driven by our intention. 
and start to walk your hands back up the length of your legs. Come back onto your hands and your knees. No special way to transition here. Tabletop. Tuck your toes. Downward facing dog. Same thing, other side. Left leg, three-legged, breathe in. Exhale, half pigeon. Draw your left knee behind your left wrist. And then extend your right leg long behind you. Right thigh wrapping forward, outer right hip wraps forward. Invitation to reach for the block and place it underneath your left glute. Long elbows, or I guess, yeah, long elbows, long arms. Stay up onto your fingertips for just a moment. Face your heart forward. Take a breath in. And take a breath out. <sighs> Breathe in. Breathe out. Arms come down if you would like. Start to rest your chest towards this left, left shin. I'm just honoring your decision to step into your practice today. Spend some time in self-reflection and investigating what's underneath, or at least trying to. Begin to lift your chest. Walk your hands back towards this left knee. Same thing, roll onto this left glute. Bring your right leg around. This time, come all the way down onto your back. Shoulder blades come to the earth. Legs get nice and long, arms go by your side. From here, bring your Knees in towards your chest. Give yourself a gentle squeeze. You can rest your hands behind your thighs in between the space between, or uh, <laughs> the space between your, the backs of your calves and the backs of your thighs. Extend your left leg. Keep your right knee in towards your chest. Left hand goes to the ground beside you. On an inhale, really gently open up this right knee towards the right, towards this right shoulder. Try to keep your left hip grounded. So you might self-assist and press your left hand down against this left hip bone. Invitation to draw this knee out a little bit wider if that would feel good. Again, noticing limitation. So noticing when your body starts to ask you to stop or starts to tell you when You've reached that limit. And there's nothing wrong with a limit. Breathe in. Exhale. Use your left hand. Reach for your right knee. Draw your right knee across your body. Supine twist. Right arm goes long towards the side. Gaze goes towards your right hand. Invitation to adjust your legs in any way to make this a little bit more comfortable. So you might release the bend in this right knee. Maybe you decide you wanna shift your hips over to the right to give yourself a little bit more space on your mat. And just giving yourself full permission to soften into what's here. One more breath in. 
and breathe out. Begin to unwind. Bring your knees back in towards your chest. We'll do the same thing on the other side. Right leg goes long towards the bottom edge of your mat. Right arm rests gently on the ground beside you. Palm touching the ground. And then really gently draw this left knee in towards your left shoulder. And then gently find a little bit more openness in that left hip. Again, just guiding the right hip back down to the ground. And then I like to circle through my ankles here and wiggle my toes. Using your right hand, reach for your left knee. As you exhale, draw this left knee across your body. Supine twist. Left arm goes long to the side. Adjust your feet how you would like. And if you have a block, you can place this underneath your left knee. And I forgot to say that on the other side, but you are always welcome to bring in any kind of prop in any shape to give yourself what you need and what's going to be most supportive. Maybe you look towards this left hand. Maybe you keep your gaze up. Stay present with the breath. Maybe you find a soft gaze or close your eyes. Begin to slowly unwind. Start to draw your knees in towards your chest. Give yourself a gentle squeeze. And from here, find a waterfall. Bring your feet above your hips in the air. Rest your hands on the ground. If you would like support, place your feet on the ground. Reach for your block, lift your hips. Place the block underneath your hips and then lift your feet right back up. Invitation to circle through your ankles. Just get anything that might be resting in the feet, an opportunity to make its way down your legs to be washed out through the sacral and solar plexus and then back out through the heart. Releasing any kind of anticipation about what is next and just allowing yourself to be here in this moment that we've arrived in. Begin to bring your feet down towards the ground. Remove the block from underneath you. If you had one, place it to the side and extend your legs all the way down. Bring your arms beside you. Invitation to face your palms up or face them down. Maybe you place your hands on your body somewhere. Allow your feet to naturally splay outwards. Maybe you bring more space between your legs. Maybe you bring more space between your arms and your body. So spread a little wider than you typically would as you set up for your final resting shape. And just soften through the shoulder blades, through the hip bones. Down the front of your arms and the front of your legs. 
And soften the feet and the hands, toes, fingers, back of your head. And soften the space between your eyebrows. And loosen your jaw. Allow your breath to be the guide. You have full permission to stay in this resting shape for as long as you'd like. If you're ready, we'll close together. Roll onto one side. Find a fetal position. Doesn't matter which side. Mm, honor the choices that brought you to this moment and the choices that are going to lead you away from it. Press yourself into a seat. Let's face each other. So bring your sits bones towards the ground. Maybe you sit on a block. Just to get some lift underneath your hips, place your hands on your thighs or your knees. Find a nice long spine, soft shoulders, ascend through the crown of your head. And maybe you close your eyes and maybe you just find a soft gaze. And we'll close with a really deep breath together. Inhale through your nose. Open mouth, exhale. And really slowly start to return to your space. Open your eyes, just take a look around. Notice where you've landed. Really, really amazing work. Thank you so much for joining me. And I'll be back with you all soon. <laughs>